Hey, Crizzle. Hey, Palme. All right, let's like get out of here for now and let this uh, area kind of do its thing for a bit. And we'll come back and check on the, the people then. Later. Later. Do, 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 do. I like a weapons, dude. Uh, shop. I'm gonna do this by the rain. I don't need this axe anymore. Mm -hmm. I should put like the actual store, bro. The one that probably is gonna buy for the most closest to me. Or closest to my stuff. I got a bunny. Get out of here. You're free, bunny! do journey mode in the future uh no plans right now i'm gonna kind of do a really really big playthrough of this mode and kind of see where it goes you happy now it's seen in the forest it could be time. okay so you're not selling your pylon yet maybe you're not like officially in your house or whatever i'll oh, put the money away oh I, no i already put the money away we good we good Thank you, though. Good looking out. Okay, let's keep going left and right and finish out this, uh... Don't. I'll take the hit. This is all new. Ooh. Oh, that's the end. Right there. Okay. Get this gold. That's a lot of gold. Hell yeah, dude. We still have to go all the way to the other side. I like gold! I do. I very much like gold. Are we playing Fallout tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. I'm I I'm, I'm officially kind of in a Terraria kick right now, so I don't I don't know when I'm gonna play Fallout again. To be honest, <laughs> this, this I'm having so much fun with it. Oh lord, I'm having so much fun with this now. Like there's so much to see and do in this game with the update that, yeah. I can already tell I'm gonna be on a Terraria kick for a bit. It's happening. Full disclosure, it's happening. Did I read the patch notes for this? Yeah, like all of them. How was the actors of three? It was great. It was great. I loved it. Had a great old time. Uh, Shlamazel, that was all picked after I agreed to be on it. Yeah, it's it's uh it's an interesting situation. Yeah. Yeah. 
I've, I've uh, made it very clear what I'm doing on the advisory council that's coming out and um, hoping we can make systems that have been pretty terrible in the past a lot better. But of course, we will, uh, we will see. We will see. I'm going to do everything I can. May not be enough, but we'll see. Oh my God, look at all this. Go! Oh, there's another heart too. Hell yeah. That guy's throwing his bone at me. Ooh. I didn't say it, you did. Don't look at me. Try to bomb this stuff down here and see what happens. If I can. Is this wait, is this the stuff? Oh god. Oh, yeah. oh god. I can, I can, I can do that. I can just mine that ore. Crimtain ore. Okay. I need to chill for a minute. It'd be kind of cool if gold ore could be, could be smelled melted into gold coins directly. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, Matt Chooks, I did see your sub go through. Thank you for the sub, man. Really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. What is glowing down here? Why is he glowing? Does, if one of them's glowing, does that mean something special? <laughs> oh, Morpheus. Uh, Co, I'm happy to spend 100k on this to be answered. So the new council is there to protect me as an adult capable of making my own decisions. As far as I can see, I don't appreciate being taught like a petulant child. Aside from policing, what other policies are considered? Genuinely asking because I'm close to the line of sarcasm and reason. Okay, no, let me, let me, uh, let me clear this up here. The council that I was invited to is not a council that counsels individual things. What I was told it is, is it is basically they brought in some I was told they were bringing in streamers to talk to Twitch about how they can make the process better of how they delegate issues to other streamers. So like it's not it's not a, it's not a viewer thing. This has nothing to do with the viewers at all. It's all about the streamers and the policies that are on them. 
So when they pinged me and they asked me, do you want to participate in this council? I told them exactly what that would mean if I were to join them. And I said, I want more transparency. I want more consistency. And I want more fairness because the last two years have made Twitch look pretty terrible because all three of those things have not been done well. And I said, if you bring me onto this council, then I am going to make sure those three things are done better on Twitch. Now, what I am not going there for is to make new rules to enforce Twitch more than it already is and to try to tell streamers how to run their show. So, yeah, this this is this is not a let's make more rules situation. This is a let's try to get Twitch to stop having these massive issues with how they treat this stuff and hopefully make it so you know, this is done better in the future. So that's that's why I'm on the council. That's the only reason I'm on the council. And uh, and I really hope that Twitch listens to our feedback and makes it better. Yeah. So that's that's my thing. That's why I'm there. Oh, the the little sparkles mean they have money. I see. Thing. He, 146. Nope. 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 That guy hit me for 146, dudes. What the hell, man? Ain't no one got time for 146. So anyway, uh, Amorphia 69, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, this, this is in no way um, for the viewer. This has nothing to do with the viewers. And, um, yeah. Is there any powers granted to the council members? Banding or direct access? No, nothing like that. In fact, from what I understand, we don't even do individual stuff. This is just a guidelines thing. This is Twitch coming to us and being, how can we make this better? So, and, and I'm planning on being very loud about how they can make it better because I don't like how it's been handled over the last few years. Um, Twitch, let's, let's, let's be blunt. Twitch has become kind of a joke. Twitch, Twitch policy enforcement has become a meme. It is joked about. It is not held in high regard at all. And frankly, it's a joke. So it needs to be improved. It has to be improved. And that's what I'm going to be telling them in this council. Like it's, it's, it's a complete joke right now. They have to do better. And I can tell them many, many ways to make it better. And that's what I'm planning on doing. That's exactly what I'm hoping to do. Okay. All right, uh, we need to go here first. And we need to go to, we need to smelt this gold first. Do, 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 do. I think we can make, what do we need gold still? We've got, we need gold breastplate and, well, I think we do, hold on, how much, is, what does this stuff even do? I don't even have enough. It takes four ore for this. Defeat the Eye of Cthulhu? Oh, Jesus. Crimtain? What is Crimtain? Is it good? Mm -mm. What would I change, Retro Raptor? The, the, what I would change is the three things um, that I talked about. Consistency. The exact same policies need to be held for every single streamer on this at like for forever like it's different streamers get hit with different penalties for the same thing that needs to stop immediately um twitch needs to make it incredibly black and white exactly what things dictate what penalties and that needs to be very public and forward-facing information also transparency if someone gets banned there needs to be somebody at twitch assigned to that partner that that partner can talk to and know exactly why they got banned exactly where in the TOS that happened. It needs to be quick. It needs to be uh, like, like this is all just no brainer stuff. Um, it needs to like, they should be getting an email with a clip, an exact reason why they're getting banned and a quote from the TOS saying, this is why you were banned. Um, and every single person should have the exact same thing there. Also fairness. There are people that are doing things. There are people that are getting banned for one thing 
and then another person will do something worse and not get banned. That's absolute bullshit. That's bullshit. And that's that that makes that that breeds favoritism. That makes the company look terrible. And it's like that's that's horrible stuff. Um so yeah, like this is all stuff that Twitch can easily fix. They just need somebody at the company to stand up and be like, "Yo, we have to do something about this." Um, and that's what I'm hoping this council will do. When I when I got pinged on this council, one of the first things I asked was, are you serious about this? Like, is this gonna happen? And they were like, absolutely. In fact, one of the people I talked to was brought into the company for this council. So it's like, okay, if you're serious about this, like, let's make things happen because this is a problem and it needs to get fixed. So yeah. Um, anyway, that's why I'm doing this. Uh, yeah. How'd I get roped into it? Dude, Twitch is my platform of choice. I want Twitch to look good. I want Twitch to have a respected, transparent, fair system for this. Because this, I've decided to make Twitch my home. It is in my interest for Twitch not to be a joke. It's really not hard to connect these dots. That's why I'm trying to help. I want them to be a respected organization that people can look at and go, man, they used to really suck it's a good thing they turned around. That's what I want. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm again, people have been like, congratulations for getting on the council. And I go, don't congratulate me. Don't congratulate anyone on the council. You can say good job after changes have been made and after it's gotten better. And then you can maybe think about saying congratulations, but let's wait until real tangible changes have been made. Let's wait until something has been fixed. Just getting on this council means nothing. And I'm the first one to say that as someone on the council. Just being on this council means nothing. What's gonna mean something is if tangible change comes from this council. So yeah, and I'm really hoping it will. I'm, I, I gotta say, I'm already really concerned because, you know, I, and, and this is all I'm gonna say about it. There's already a lot of negative PR about this council for a lot of reasons that have nothing to do with the council. And I really hope the council's paying attention to that. And I hope they're gonna do what they need to do to rectify that. And that's all I'm going to say about it. So we'll see. We'll see. And um, that's where we are. And that's all I'm going to talk about it. Yep. That's all I'm going to say. I'm done. You're not, you're not going to hear me too much about this or, or talk too much about this because like I'm, I'm really wanting it to work and I don't really want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to shoot anything in the foot. So yeah. If you know what I mean. Doop. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you who Ku Carnage is? Uh, my my devious alter ego. Yeah. We don't talk about Ku Carnage. Bonk. Okay. Do I need the iron? I don't think I need the iron right now. I do need. I do need the. Silver? I do need the silver. Let's get the silver. I need to start building my own freaking mine cart, man. Can I make mine stuff yet? It's really neat you get to talk about this openly. Yeah, of course there's things I can't talk about and I'm not talking about, but you know. Like, it, it'll all it'll all come with time. It'll all come with time. I'm hoping eventually everything about this council will be public. So, yeah. Oh God, oh God, oh God, don't die, don't die. Son of a biscuit! Okay, Co had their head removed by a sandball. Jesus, what a way to go. <sighs> okay. Get the red stuff? I'm gonna try to go down and get that red stuff, yeah. What do I know about the other people on the council? The only other person I know on the council is Zazarin. Zazarin is a good dude who I've played games beside. I have talked to many times in private. He's a great dude. We had him on drop frames. The only other guy that I know of in any like meaningful caliber is Zazarin, and he's a good dude. Um, I'm getting to learn about other members of the council, and it has been an interesting experience. Yeah. 
So again, we'll see how all that goes. But the only person that I know, like m myself, the only person I can like personally vouch for and I know of is this Aaron. And he's a good dude. He's a good dude. I like him and I'm glad he's on the council. I can say that for sure. Is this where the red stuff was? No, I died over there. Okay. Are people with personalities like Tyler and Soda Poppin and XQC on there? Uh, no, 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 they aren't. Un unfortunately. I honestly think it would have been nice to get some representation from like the more IRL side of Twitch, but at the same time, this is this is like a, a policy thing. So, you know, I I think I think they're kind of figuring out how they're gonna do it. So, again, I I don't know. This is this is stuff I wasn't involved in. Where are you leading me, Pink Fairy? Where are we going? Yo, this fairy is leading me somewhere. Hold up, hold up. Oh, look at that! Oh, thanks, fairy friend. Um, ma 18 melee damage can be upgraded with torches what does that even mean can be upgraded with torches what what is that have I found a gnome yet I have yeah. <clears throat> I got one mooning everybody in my base. It's great. 99 torches? Can I even make 99 torches? Oh, I think all my, my gel and stuff is back at... What does that even do? Straight into what? Were you and the council sway into Twitch enforcing their rules in any capacity? No. Uh, it's, it's not about enforcing current rules. It's about helping set precedent in, in how Twitch handles policy and, and that kind of stuff. It's not about like case by case enforcement. That's not what we're here for. Oh, I can just get this crimtain ore. Okay, cool. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Maybe we can actually start making something out of this. It makes it light up and has a small chance to uh, uh, deal a small fire dot. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I may, I may get that. I mean, it hits like a truck. That's nice. Maybe it'll help with uh, seeing into the distance, too. Death Dragon, absolutely, man. Thank you. I'm down here so I can try this thing, y'all. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. Oh, dude, that is badass. You can swing it around and then and then fling it out. Oh God! Don't die again, please. Come on down, dudes. Come on down, dudes. You know you want to. Oh, and it hits them on the way back too. Not bad, dude. Okay. I just gotta do this. Okay. They kill her manslaughter? Whoops. My bad, my bad. Um. make like crimtain picks and stuff because that'd be pretty badass 
click on the hammer next to the things you can craft. Oh, that just showed like everything I can craft, right? After a boss, I can? Oh. So wait, is gold the best thing I can use right now? Or is there a better... Is there a better thing somewhere? Like, can I get better than gold? Isn't there... Isn't there like a... Whoa. Okay. I just have to kill the boss. Okay. Crimtain is better, but I can't make Crimtain yet. Is there anything better that I can get? Oh, sh dropping bombs on your face, skeleton. Gold is best for now. Crimtain is the best thing ever. Well, I can't build Crimtain, right? You can use platinum and obsidian. You get better by fishing. I think they took that out of the game. Um. Meteorite if you destroy an orb. So yeah, what, what's kind of the next step for me? Because I, I want to keep the progression up. I guess I just need to keep exploring. Is that the best thing for me to do right now? Just keep exploring and look for stuff to... In-game... There's also Meteor Metal. Okay. Gold is the same as Platinum. Okay. What about Tungsten? Is Tungsten still in the game? Is that a thing? There's Tungsten after a boss. Maybe that's after the boss. Ow, Jesus, he hurts. Tungsten is the same as silver. Oh, it's an iron variant. Oh, okay, okay. So I, I don't have, I don't have Tungsten then, probably. Oh, God! Dude, I still can't buy this thing from him. What what am I doing wrong? Cat. Do I need to put him further away from these people? Um Overpopulation is per biome. You need to build them bases in other biomes. Oh. Damn, dude. Um, so like I should move a bunch of people into the desert then? I had to move my nurse to a house away from him. She likes to be away from others. He can be near people she doesn't like. Gold plat is the best you can get until meteorite. Okay. The zoologist had the pylon for you? Wait, what? I saw the pylon earlier, but no, I, I haven't seen it since. I remember seeing the pylon. It was eight gold. So wait, can I, like, if this is the forest biome, is this the cave biome right here? Could I bring someone down here? This is cave, right? Does it say what biome I'm in anywhere? That's the cave biome. Okay. Let's do this. Yep. 
You need an info item. When the music changes, though, I can be pretty sure that's also it, right? This is all the cave biome here. So let's let's do it right by this mining thing here. Now this is just for testing. If we if we can confirm this works, then I will I will make this a lot more nice. Let's just see if this is gonna work first. You know what? That's not ten, but whatever. It does. It really doesn't matter. Again, this is this is for science. This is pure, unadulterated science right now. You heard me. Let's move uh, Demo Bro down here. And then here. I miss the beanie. Yeah, dude, I've got all this freaking hair now, man. That's oh, the worst. I miss it too. What's this thing? <laughs> this is gold chilling. Okay. Who else should we bring down here? Maybe the, the guy that doesn't like the top biome? He specifically says, like, I don't like this biome. I don't feel inspired. Which was that? It's a die, bro. suitable. Housing is suitable. All right, you. Down here. Okay. Let's see if going up and going down will fix it. Am I still cramming everyone into tenements? Well, apparently they can they can chill right next to each other from what I understand, so. Dibro's in the desert? Okay. You only have one NPC that likes underground right now? That's a bummer. Why don't I like the forest? Because it's boring. Green, brown, that's it. Okay, so he needs something else. There's smoking in here. Ah, no one around. I can test new bombs without creating a graveyard for limbs. Dwarves are naturally drawn to the underground. It's in our blood. Hey! Cavern pylon. Cool. Uh, we're not 
aren't close enough to a pilot to teleport the pilot network. Okay. Well, badass. All right. So, um, I guess we just need to make the people happy. So I'm guessing because we have too many people up here, maybe we can spread them out in different biomes. Um, hmm. I don't think these guys are going to be good yet. There it is. Force bomb. Boom. And flipping fantastic. Okay. Bad ass. Nice. Nice. I like it. I like it. They have to be like right next to it. Okay. No? Oh, you have to be like on it. Okay. That's cool. All right, so we can... Oh, wow, look how big that map is. Jesus. Oh, this is gonna be so good. So we can put like I don't know how many pylons we're going to get, but we can put like one over here, one over here, we can put a cave one somewhere like down here maybe, I'm sure it goes deeper. We can have like one pylon per biome or something, so. This is going to be so much fun. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, I need to get out of here and get some sleep. I'm going to be on all day tomorrow be a lot of fun yeah i know we can have one for every biome but i don't know if we're gonna have enough people to have two because you gotta have two people next to them so i don't know if we're gonna have enough people to have two people in every single biome maybe that's exactly how many people we have i don't know how that works um yeah so we're gonna be doing terraria all day tomorrow uh i might do an hour of vlr or something in the afternoon i don't know but um i might just play terraria all day too because i'm absolutely loving this so anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for being here. Really do appreciate it. I'm really digging this game. I like what you did there. Uh, I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever in the globe. Thank you so much for spending some of your life here. Right, we're going to pick this up right from here tomorrow. We've got a lot of base building to do tomorrow and all sorts of fun stuff. So anyway, hope you have a great day. Thanks again for being here. And I will see you guys then for more fun and games.